Hello, it's Amanda here. I'm going to show you how to print your loan history from the Lane Memorial Library. To get started, you'll head to the internet. Once you have that open, you can navigate straight to our website. It is Lane Memorial Library dot org. From our website, it's very easy to access. Uh, starting from the left, you have the name of the library, a search box, today's date, and that choice account. And that's exactly where we're heading. So if you'll click that, it's going to take you straight into where you need to log in. Uh, it's asking for your library card number or your easy username. If you have never logged into the system before, you do not have an easy username. Use your library card number. It is 14 digits long. You can find it on the back of your library card. Please enter it without any spaces. And your PIN number. Your PIN number would have been set when you opened your library account with us. If you don't have it or don't remember it, we're able to reset it quite simply. Give us a call or stop by and we can do that. It is most often four digits long. And once you enter that, you'll be able to click the blue login button. Now, not a lot has changed. It still has a search box for looking through our catalog, but off in the right, it says Curious's account. Uh, Curious George is a library patron here, which is kind of handy. Um, this red circle with the number one is just because he happens to have an overdue item. But if we click here, it's going to take you into an account summary. Again, we see he has one item that needs attention. He has 13 items out now. Across the middle, we have account summary, account activity, saved lists, and saved searches. We are going to go to account activity. The first thing we're going to see is what his current state of affairs are. So again, he has 13 items out and one of them is overdue. But along the right, we have the option to look at his loans, his holds, his fines, or his loan history. And that is where we're heading. We're going to click on loan history. Now, he just started tracking his loans a little while ago, so he only has six items in his loan history. It comes up naturally sorted by the checkout date. The newest thing you've borrowed is on the top. The oldest thing you've borrowed is on the bottom. But you are able to click the drop down right here and sort by the title of the item or the author. Um, as you use this list, um, perhaps you want to check to see if you've read all of the John Sanford books. And so having it sorted by author might make a lot of sense for you. Once you have it sorted the way you'd like, you're going to come over to this side and click print loan history. It's going to ask you to select a date range. It's going to default to give you a one month history, but we want to print the whole history. During our data migration, we are going to lose this information. There's no way to take it from our current system to our new system. So you'll want to print out the whole thing so that you don't lose any of it. My suggestion is just to put in kind of a silly year, 1970, which is well before we had any automation and so it will capture every single thing that we've borrowed. So put in uh, a year like 1970 until today's date. And then once that's done, you click OK. And it's opening again a new box that shows my account, my loan history from the 70s to 2023. And it has all of the items that George has borrowed. We're going to hit this blue print box. Now it's opening a print dialog box. This will be similar to what it looks like when you print anything from your home office. It's going to have a preview here of what the item you're printing looks like and the destination. We're going to print ours to the circulation desk color printer and we'll click this last blue print button and we're ready to go. We now have Curious George's full history printed out for him. I hope that this is helpful. If you get in trouble in any spot here, please do let us know. Uh, the librarians at the desk are also able to print this out for you. So if you're having difficulty, don't worry. We're glad to print it out for you instead. You must do this by August 18th. That is when we are going to lose the old data and switch to the new system. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.